ghosts and ghouls. My name is Jack and welcome to Horror Show Art. I'm a digital illustrator, mask and effects artist specialising in all things horror. Today I'd like to showcase something that's a little bit outside of my usual work, another item from my collection, my Scareware Productions Wolfman Mask. Scareware Productions is one of my favourite artists working today. His movie replicas are spot on and are highly sought after. You can check out his Instagram to see examples of his work and follow him on his Patreon for exclusives and early releases. I'll leave links in the description. Occasionally Scareware will do a garage sale where he sells off pieces that he has hanging around his workshop. This is the best time to buy blanks. Last time I bought a blank of his Brutal Mask, there will be a video about that one later down the line, and this Wolfman Mask. After some deliberation I decided to finish this one as an older werewolf. The wrinkles, scarring and battle damage lended itself perfectly to an older, weathered character. I use references from Anthony Hopkins in the 2010 Wolfman movie. The details on this sculpt are fantastic. The anatomy has a hulking, brutal quality that sets this character apart as more beast than man. The teeth jut out in such a way that they pinch the top lip. I can only imagine that this is difficult to sculpt but it really works well here. The sculpt was so intricately done that the entire head was covered in pores and veins and wrinkles, and there did come a point when I really had to consider whether I wanted to cover this. But ultimately I decided a werewolf needed hair to really complete the look. It's also worth noting that this piece is pretty huge. I've never worn it, but I hope to one day put it on a mannequin and make a full-size creature for my Halloween display. I painted this piece in a pale flesh colour with some purple and maroon accents in there to really give it age and depth. I darkened up the eyes and the lips and the scars so it would really pop. I wanted the nose to be dog-like so it has tones of brown into black and I finished it with a gloss so it looks wet. The hair is a blend of mohair and crepe wool that I applied sparingly so you can still see the detail in the sculpt. I also wanted to see those awesome pointed ears. Under studio lighting we see the beast really come alive in this sculpt. These harsher angles are all amplified and we are left with something that you wouldn't want to come across on the moors during a full moon. Overall, I'm happy with how this piece has come out. I'd wanted to add a Wolfman to my collection for a long time, and I was pleased I got this looking just how I imagined. Hopefully in the near future, I can finish some custom hands and eyes to go with him and put him on display. But for now, he'll live on my bookshelf right next to Dracula. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Do check out my Instagram and my TikTok, both can be found at horrorshow underscore art. And also check out my Etsy for stickers, apparel and cool cosplay accessories. There'll be links to all of that in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, they're coming to get you, Barbara.